Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about buying likes and followers and engagement groups because I have been guilty of this in the past. I joined in grade, in grade, I joined engagement groups. And I've also bought um, followers before, which is kind of insane to me now when I think about it. But I understand why people do it. And I also understand like the insecurity that comes up that leads you to doing it and everything. So we're going to talk about this because I have come to realise now that doing this actually... <laughs> These birds are so loud, what the fuck? that buying them actually harms your not only your brand but your engagement in the first place it actually harms it more than it helps it so we're going to talk about um followers and likes first and then we'll go into engagement groups so when you buy likes and followers you're literally buying bot accounts or unused accounts that are then just sitting there on your page not doing anything you know and even when you buy um likes on your post like it's not people that actually care about what you have to say it's not actually people that follow you because they want to follow you it's not people because they're interested in you or whatever thing it is that you have to offer they're literally just paid for <laughs> so it doesn't benefit your brand because whilst it looks nice it's not anyone that's going to buy your services or your product or listen to your music or watch your youtube videos like it's not a real person so why have them <laughs> and it's kind of funny when I say it like that because I've bought them in the past but I realize now that it just doesn't do anything for you except look good and we're in such a superficial world where everything is about looking good rather than about your soul and your heart like as cheesy as that sounds you know everything is about the external image instead of what's actually going on internally and when you look at branding and content what I mean by that is like the external image of success as opposed to the inner fulfillment of happiness or as opposed to the inner value of your content and your brand and your service or product you know so surely it's about the value and the connection with your consumer or customer or audience rather than it just being about a bunch of numbers on your account and it does so much more harm because you're not actually getting any engagement from the people that actually fuck with you so you're just having these fake things put everywhere but it's not really people that care about what you have to say or that are ever going to buy anything from you so it's kind of a waste of time and pointless and a waste of money as well because you are paying for them and it's kind of the same with engagement groups because I did join them a few years ago I, tr I tried it twice so I think I tried it in 2018 and then 2019. Like, there was quite a few months of a gap in between the two times because the first time I tried it, I was like, oh my God, like this is incredible. People will actually like my stuff and all I have to do is like theirs as well. This is sick <laughs> because I didn't have many followers at all. I was just starting out and I wanted my feed to look good because if it looks bad, if it looks empty, then I feel like I'm just talking to myself, you know? So I wanted to have the engagement so that people that I knew didn't think that I was insane just getting on there speaking to myself because nobody actually cares. It was that kind of um, like fear in what people think type of mentality. So I joined the engagement groups and I loved it at first because it was like people were leaving really nice compliments and things and I would check out their stuff and see what they were doing. But then after a few weeks, it started to drain the shit out of me because I'm being forced to comment on things when I don't feel like it just in exchange for them to do the same so I might see a picture that I don't really care for but now I've got to try and comment something on it so I started to literally feel in myself how ugh, like 
how gross it kind of made me feel like it was fake I was faking compliments and faking the comments and even faking the likes because some of it I didn't really want to like either and also when I was doing that it was at the time when you could see what people were liking and commenting on like there was that option on the Instagram feed to look at what everybody else was doing so I knew that that would be appearing as well on people's accounts if they were to look and I just didn't like how fake it felt and the fact that even to the people I was commenting to I was having to fake to them and they could probably feel that in my comment because it wouldn't be very like it wouldn't be an interesting comment it would just be very simple you know because I was literally just doing it to get their comment and like back and that's just not only is it soul sucking for yourself because it feels like awful because you're having to fake yourself constantly especially if you're posting every day and then you're using the engagement group every day that's a lot of fakeness <laughs> and it's not fun and then also in return you're getting fake comments back because they don't actually care about what it is that you have to say they're only commenting it because they want you to do it as well so it's just a lot of like it's a weird dynamic with people to be honest and I just found after a while that I didn't enjoy it and that it wasn't even worth it because I was spending all of this time having to fake comments just to get a few fake comments back and it's just really pointless so I did end up stopping and then a few months later on because I hated how low the engagement was I then joined another one again and tried doing it again and then I think after like a week or two I was like nah this is not for me like I tried for the second time and no I can't do it so then I stopped again but I can really understand why people get into it especially when you build friendships and things with people in them because you are having to comment on each other's things a lot and communicate a lot so I can see some benefit to it where you might form friendships in your niche that's really beneficial but I also see that a lot of it can be fake so if you're going to use them at least do it in your niche otherwise you're just commenting on random shit that literally does not benefit you or the other person because now you're going to get targeted by ads for that type of niche that's not even yours that you don't even care about because you're going and engaging with those kinds of pictures and content so it really is just I mean it's a personal choice I guess <laughs> it's up to you what you want to do but I personally feel like buying them and doing engagement groups really hurts you more than it helps you because it's just so much fakeness it takes so much time and effort and if you put that time and effort into creating the content that you want that's of value and focusing on your branding and the message that you want to share with the world you'll get so much more engagement through that focus and dedication and time compared to putting that time into buying fake shit and commenting on shit that you don't care for so it's personal preference but I just thought I would share my perspective on it because it is something that I've done in the past and I really do feel for everybody when you're going through that insecurity kind of stage in your business and your brand because it is terrifying to put yourself out there publicly and when you feel like you're not getting much response it can feel like you're literally talking to yourself and everybody around you is just kind of laughing or whatever but they're not most people don't care and even if they did you're gonna prove them wrong by honing in on your content and your branding and really getting clear on who you are and what it is that you have to say when you get clear on those things all of the other people will eventually shut up and they may even start paying attention to what you have to say because it resonates with them too you know so I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching definitely leave a comment down below if you have anything to add to this and also check out the description box below for all links to my music my social media my phone number my merch and my crystal healing jewelry my website literally everything about me is in the description box and like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week now and yes I will see you in the next video have the best day Bye. You could say I love you